My name is Carter Vier. My mission is San Luis Obispo de Tolosa. This mission was the fifth mission in the 21 mission chain that was founded by Father Junipero Serra. Father Junipero Serra founded the mission San Luis Obispo in 1772. The mission was named after the son of an Italian king and nephew of a French king. The mission is nicknamed the Prince of the Missions. This mission is located halfway between the north and south ends of the mission chain. In a valley surrounded by the mountains, this valley was named La Canada de Los Asos. It is also known as the Valley of the Bears. Now I'm going to give you a quick tour around the mission and tell you more about the mission. Right after Father Sarah founded the mission, he left the area. He had Father Jose Caviller in charge of building a chapel, workshops, and sleeping quarters. Father Jose had five soldiers, two Indian neophytes, to assist him. The mission building is a square shape with the garden in the middle. The church is on the north side of the square, sleeping quarters on the east side. The workshops and storage rooms on the west and south side. The church has three bells hanging in the arched openings. These bells were made in 1818 in Peru. Now we are about to enter the chapel. The church was made of adobe. The building was building is about 125 feet long, 25 feet wide. It has tile roof, floors mezcla, stone and mortar. Walls are adobe covered with plaster and whitewash. Now we are about to enter the sleeping quarters. This is where the priests and padres slept. Now we are about to enter the storage room. This is where they stored their food, water, and their weapons and tools. Now we are entering the workshops. The workshops are the place where they made tools, weapons, and, and other things. Now we are entering the garden area where the grew where they grew fruits and vegetables. Garden had a well which was used for washing, laundry, and water. Now we are going to go to the outside area. Here is the farmland, cemetery, and where they kept the livestock. Here is the farmland, cemetery, and this mission is, this oh. mission was known for making vines, olive oil, roofing tiles, cloth, wool clothing, which they supplied to other missions. They also grew vegetables and fruits. The native Californian tribe that in this lived in this area at the mission were the Shumash tribe. They were one of the larger tribes in California. The Shumash were, very, were interested in the weapons and different foods that the Spanish had. 
and offered to help and trade with them. Some accepted the missions to offer to stay and became, become Christians. Life at the mission was known to be difficult for the fathers and the natives. Those that lived at the mission went by a strict schedule. The fathers were used to this type of lifestyle, but the neophytes were not. The mission bell rang about at about 6 a.m., which signaled the people to wake up in the morning. Everyone attended the morning prayer for about an hour, then went to breakfast, which took about 45 minutes. Then it was time for everyone to go to work. Fathers were responsible for running the mission and teaching the new people and children about Catholic faith. Most men worked in the fields or helped with the an with animals. The women stayed at the mission and worked on chores such as weaving clothes, cloth, and making clothes in the ve and in in the vegetable garden. The children almost always also helped with chores around the mission after their religious classes were over. At noon, the bells would ring again for everyone to gather up for a meal. Then everyone will return to work. Then, la then the last bell will be, will be rung to the day. Another meal will ser will be served. Women were expected to go to bed by 8 p.m. and men by 9 p.m. The mission lifestyle was different and difficult for natives who converted to Christianity and were living in at the mission many missed their freedom of their li of their tribal life and would try to leave the mission the spanish spanish found it difficult to convince the Chumash to convert to christianity and live at the mission the entire mission was completed in 1819. The 18, in 1845, the Indians had driven off all livestock and the mission buildings started to break apart. In 1845, most of the mission, except for the church, was sold off at the auction for $510. In 1859, the Mission Church was returned to the Catholic Church. Today, the Mission San Luis Obispo serves as a parish church. Sleeping quarters has has been restored as a museum. Museum. This concludes my mission project. Hope you enjoy it. Enjoyed it.